were two essential goals when this platform was thought of. Um, obviously, the first goal was to allow tier ones and OEMs um, to connect and collaborate in the automotive manufacturing ecosystem. So how they essentially do this is an OEM, a tier one, can basically log into the platform and review and see all the registered NARCAM members. However, we have not limited the system to just NARCAM members um, in terms of manufacturers, but we have opened it to the public. But we'll elaborate a bit more on that slightly later. The second goal I'd like to just quickly touch on is the ability for tier two and tier three manufacturers to actually register onto the platform. Now, there are obviously a few benefits where First things first, they will now essentially be part of that database. So as they log in and as they register, you will find that tier ones can now find their solutions, find what products they manufacture and what they actually do. There will be other various information captured, but again, those are details we can save for a bit later. Um, as you can see on the screen, we do have a self-registration process that, um, that we've obviously included in the platform, which means you don't need to phone Narcam, give them your details you can actually go online and actually register for the platform yourself. Now, what's beneficial is that by registering on the platform, it is obviously free of charge, so any manufacturer can sign up. Um, I mean, just consider this as basically free marketing. You will be listed online at absolutely no cost. Um, so that, that's the first part I'd like to touch on. Now, the second reason you'd really want to do this is because once you are listed on this platform and once you are in the database, um, you will also have the ability to not only list your information and what you offer, but you will also have the ability that um, OEMs and tier ones can set up opportunities where you will then be notified on those opportunities. So it is an automated process. I will speak a bit more on that in a few minutes. And as I said, we're not gonna keep you too long. But basically some of the other functionality as you've already seen on the screen is that we do have data reminders. So first things first, upon logging into the platform, you will be reminded of relevant opportunities. So should something, um, so should something be populated on the platform that is directly relevant to your business, an automated email will go out, you'll be presented with this opportunity, which is fantastic. Um, you'll then have the ability to choose whether you would like to apply for the opportunity or not. And that's where we speak about that automated matchmaking where you've basically told us what you do, somebody said what they want, and there's a whole automation algorithm that runs in the background that matches you up and sends those notifications. So these are one of the very many reminders we also include. One other thing I'd like to touch on in terms of reminders is that in terms of BE status, um, obviously your, your certificate will expire on an annual basis. The platform will actually notify you 30 days before it's expired, again remind you at seven days should you not have renewed it and so forth. One of our focuses, I think, um, because this is a data platform, um, obviously accuracy of data was like, it was absolutely top of the ranks. So there were certain things built into the platform, such as email validation. I mean, we don't want bots coming on and saying, we do this, we do that. These are actually verified by humans. So whatever you insert into the platform gets validated by the, loop, by the NARCAM administrators. Um, in fact, they actually go one step further where they're gonna review your profile, review what you've actually put into the platform and suggest tweaks where you might be lots, um, light on certain information, light on customer information, and before actually approving, before letting you go through, they can, actually suggest, they can actually suggest enhancements as to where you can add additional data. And these are just some of the value adds of registering to this platform. Um, other sort of checks is that we do company checks on, a, on an annual basis um, to ensure companies still exist. I mean, we, we don't want to be putting forward companies that have recently closed down. That's obviously an aspect that needs to be considered. And in terms of the opportunities that are created, every single opportunity is again vetted. So nobody can just jump on the system, create an opportunity and with spelling mistakes and so forth. The loop administrators will actually log into the platform, verify the opportunity. If they feel that too little information is asked, they can say, well, would, you not like, would, would they not like to know more about the volume, for example? You're looking for someone who, who manufactures turbos, but how many turbos? How often would you like to manufacture them? Um, will this be a once-off or will this be a yearly or a repeating process? So these are the so sorts of things that upon the opportunity creation, the, the loop administrator can then make certain recommendations before the approval. And again, once it's been approved, it will then automatically send out the notification to relevant companies that do meet the criteria. Whether it's, if they had specific BE requirements or they had specific requirements around um, certifications, that can also be included in those opportunities and that automation.